Alright boys and girls and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have Warren Ziders here and that will be I believe the first time on Goron Guitar and Warren is a mighty good uh, country artist and this is a good song as well. Heartbreaker. He's a heartbreaker and we're gonna learn this song here with six chords. So pretty easy chords. We don't need any capo for this one. So you just grab a guitar and start playing once you learn. So uh, yeah, we need to go for the chords first. And the first one will be the D minor. That is open D, second G, third B, and first E. We have C, that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. We have the A sharp sus chord. That's a bar on the first fret. You don't have to bar the last E string here. So all the other strings down below and then you need to add third on D and third on G. We'll continue with the bars here. With the F you bar the same fret there first but you bar all strings this time and then you need to add third on A, third on D, and second on G. And then we go over to this position here. This is the G minor. You place the same bar here now on the third fret, all strings. And then you need to add fifth on A and fifth on D. And then we have the A minor left there. So A minor is open A, second D, second G, first B, and and E. Alright, so before we go into the different parts here, we need to learn the string pattern. It's very easy. We have the A minor here. So um, if you go for one string around, it will be about six downs, like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I like to emphasize the fourth down here. I do that in the way that I'm playing on the bass strings for all the other downs, but on the fourth I go down and play the higher notes down here and go back to play on the bass strings there for five and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, bass, 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 top, bass, bass. So that is how it sounds here, a couple of rounds with the A minor. I don't know why I took the A minor, perhaps it was the last chord. Anyway, let's go into this uh, song here with the different parts. We have the verse play now. So we got to play the chord progression D minor, C, A sharp, and F. Okay, you're going to play one string around per chord, and you do that for two rounds. So D minor, C, A sharp, and F. Second round. All right. And then over to pre chorus, you have the G minor one, A sharp one, G minor again one, and then C one down and a pause. So G minor, A sharp. G minor and C one down. You do that for this only round here and that pause builds up for the next part, the chorus. So the chorus goes D minor one, C one, A sharp one and F one. That is the same as the verse play. You play that part for two rounds. All right, so we can go through again, just to remind us, D minor. C, A sharp, and F. Second round. Okay, so we're about half in into this chord now. We'll continue with G minor one, A minor one, A sharp one, and then one down on C. So, G minor. Minor, A sharp, C one down and a pause, 
and then you play the end here. It could be a post course part. I built in this one into the course, so it doesn't really matter because you're gonna have this part with you all the time when you play the course. So uh, anyway, this post course or the ending of this course will be one down on D minor, one down on A sharp. So that means one down on a pause, then one down on A sharp and a pause, and then you play one strong round on F. That part you play for two rounds. So D, A sharp, F. Again, D, A sharp, F. All right. So that is how you play the ending there in the chorus, or perhaps it is a post chorus part. Anyway, that's the first round. The second round is exactly the same. So verse, pre chorus, and chorus exactly the same. Then after that comes a bridge part, and uh, it comes right after the second chorus. You're gonna play this bridge with strumming here A sharp, one. C1, then back to A sharp one, and C1 down. Okay, so one down and a pause. So you alternate between A sharp and C. So. That pause builds up for the last chorus part, and that chorus will be the same when it comes to the first parts out of it. Remember, I mentioned the post course part differs a little bit. Um, so everything will be the same here for the last course, but the post course part, you, instead of playing it for two rounds only, where you played the D minor, A sharp, and then one string on F, that part you play for four rounds instead of two, like you did in the previous courses. So with that said, this Warren Zider's Heartbreaker ends and I hope this was educational, helpful and uh, I believe it's very playable on guitar so hope you enjoyed it if you did please support me here on Gordon Guitar I appreciate all that and I hope to see you here very soon till then play tuned <laughs>